What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Aston Villa PS5 career mode here on FIFA 21. We start things off here back in the Premier League against West Ham United at Villa Park. And the first chance does come to us, Douglas Louise takes a decent effort. It comes back to him and he takes it on the first time volley. And had to force a good save from the West Ham keeper. And it stays nil-nil, but we go once again. They've got the ball gets played to Jack Grealish. And that's not a bad effort from Jackie, our captain from outside the box. Unfortunately, missing the target. But here come West Ham. Suchek, great player in real life. Slides it to Antonio. Slides it to Zambo and Kisa. And they just go right through us very easily. And Zambo and Kisa just has a tap in. And it's 1-0 to the away team making making us look very very poor at the back absolutely exposing us for our weak defensive errors despite some good signings recently but here they come again Zambo Angisa slides it to Antonio and that is a fantastic strike how on earth that even got past some of our defenders and Emmy Martinez as well hitting off the post going in just I don't even know, but that was a fantastic strike, and we're getting embarrassed here at Villa Park as the away team take a 2-0 lead, and we try to go on the counter, but it, nothing is working for us in this game, and the ball gets played to Felipe Anderson, who plays a 1-2 with Antonio, it's back to Felipe Anderson! And that volley nearly destroys the net as the Brazilian puts West Ham up 3-0 up at us at Villa Park it's just a horrendous performance from us how on earth this is happening I have no clue but five minutes before the end of the game Suchek crosses it into Pablo Farnals and that almost ended my life if that went in it would have been four obviously and that just would have been absolutely horrible if it wasn't already you know I mean we're losing three three nil to a 12th place team but we try to get some life back into the game through our youngster George Hansen that was a good play with Tammy Abraham but nothing really too much to get excited about as we got absolutely demolished at home and it's just a very poor performance leading to a 3-1 loss to West Ham United and I mean that doesn't really help our causes as of trying to get into the Champions League potentially for next season we might just have to settle for a Europa League spot and uh, after this game we had an FA Cup fixture against Reading which obviously I was gonna sim I mean Reading I I'm not really we're going to play the big boys, you know, and we get a comfortable 2-0 victory. One goal from Al Ghazi. I don't know who the other goal was from, but it doesn't matter because we're through. The main thing is now. We're back at Villa Park. The Carabao Cup semi-final second leg against Tottenham Hotspur. The first game ended 0-0. It was a dead one. We're looking for a jam-packed game this time. And it got off to a flying start as uh, Morgan Sanson takes a decent strike from outside. Nothing to trouble David De Gea just yet. But uh, here's something to take note of. that Harry Kane actually goes down injured and he actually comes off. And uh, he's actually out for two months. Doesn't really matter that one, but he's out for this game is what matters. And it was actually Nathan Ake who wrecked him. And big ups to Nathan Ake taking out one of their best players. We need it. And here comes George Hansen right before the half. A little bit of skill, good hold up, play good skills with his feet. He's going to play it to Matty Cash. Watkins is going to play a 1 2 with the captain, and it's going to fall back to Ollie Watkins. And that strike nearly rips the net open. Ollie Watkins giving us that goal after a game and a half. We finally scored. There's finally a goal in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup against us and Spurs. And it had to take something very nice to, to, to have a goal in this picture, you know. And it was a very good play outside the box. Good one-touch football inside the box. And a very good finish from Watkins. And another chance to get two. We're looking for the head of Ollie Watkins. A decent header. A decent save from De Gea. And it stays 1-0. But here come Tottenham. Uh, a couple of minutes before the end of the game, it was a guy who's going to cut back out. He's going to find Youngman Song. Youngman Song's going to play it to Hoiberg. Hoiberg is going to find Troy Parrott. And the big teams find a way in the very few chances they have despite their top goal scorer coming off with an injury. It's the Parrot to save Tottenham Hotspur and Jose Mourinho Spurs. And that now leads to a penalty shootout thank god no extra time because our players are going to be even more tired than that but a penalty shootout is always scary and but a fun fact is i have never lost a penalty shootout in the hertha berlin career mode and yet to even play one i think in this one but uh either way we have not lost a penalty shootout and we're not trying to lose one right here against spurs it's tammy abraham 
to take the first pen and that's a good one to Heya. Comes close, but not close enough. David Alaba sends it over the bar. Advantage Aston Villa, the Frenchman now. Morgan Sanson, beautiful, sends De Gea the wrong way. It's now 2-0 to us in the shootout. Here comes Dele Alli. Can he spark some magic? No, he cannot, because Emmy Martinez saves the day, hopefully. We need this one from our brand new signing, David Brooks, our number eight. To find the back of the net again, but it's De Gea with a very good save here to deny our Welshman and it's Young Men's son. Never gonna miss those one. Those ones are uh, young men. Here comes Mandueke though. Good chance to make it 3-1 and a very good advantage. Mandueke hits the bar. It's a little unlucky. And we're getting a little nervous as Lo Celso here, the Argentinian, with a very nice penalty. And now here is Jack Grealish, the captain. Mr. Reliable. Mr. Aston Villa doesn't miss those. Uh, he has those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But it all comes to Gerard Piquet against Emmy Martinez. He sends it wide. He sends us to the Carabao Cup final. We're going back to Wembley, boys. Let's celebrate it. Because, as you may know, Wembley might just be our home away from home as uh yeah we're looking to win a bunch of trophies at wembley stadium and we're there for another one time to add the carabao cup to our trophy cabinet that final will probably be two episodes from now if not then maybe next episode but uh yeah pk with a very big miss and uh yeah credit to the boys in the penalty shootout for coming up big the save from emmy the goals from the boys now we're back to some premier league football against crystal palace here back at the Oh, this is in the park. Selhurst Park, actually, my bad. I thought we were playing at our home. It's actually, we're the away team. But anyways, yeah. Back to some Premier League business after that fun one in the penalty shootout against Spurs. First chance though comes to Crystal Palace. A good ball gets played here to Reidewald, I think his name is. I don't know how to pronounce it, the Dutch defender. But he comes very close to putting Crystal Palace up 1-0. And now Dougie's going to give it to Lewis Cook. Take a look at this for a pass to send our young Georgie through. And uh, you already know we're going to try to pick out Tammy Abraham in the middle. And that is a world-class save from Jack Butland. But you think that Tammy Abraham should be putting those away. Uh, I don't know. It was a quick reflex. Is that one from Jack Pokelin? But we have a good chance in the corner. Al Ghazi's going to look for the head of Tammy Abraham. That's more like it, my boy. Our number nine finally scores in what feels like it has been forever since Tammy Abraham has scored. Gives us the lead here, though, at Selhurst Park. And we go again uh, right before halftime. Nuna Tavares gets played through. He's going to give it to Tammy Abraham. This boy, this boy, this boy, I have no clue what to think of this guy because some moments he's very hot and, and just clinical, but other moments he just does stuff like that. But Perella goes through our defense, the, uh, the Crystal Palace midfielder, no clue who this guy is, but the number 8 gives them the equalizing goal, I think 15 minutes left to play, and that was very sloppy defending, how on earth we got caught on the counter attack like that, I do not know, but it's now 1-1, the home team back in it, but... Right from there, he comes Jackie Boy. He's going to give it to uh, Nuna Tavares. Cuts back and gives it to the captain. He's going to find Ollie Watkins. Ollie passes it in to Noni Madueke. And with eight minutes left, we take the lead right back, courtesy of Noni Madueke. And uh, yeah, it was just very good play. All the boys who just came on linked up for that goal, which is lovely to see Watkins, Grealish, and Madue get the goal scorer. And we take the ball pretty much from them, and it's Grealish who plays it from Watkins. Watkins, he's going to give it to Grealish. He's going to cut it back to Oli Watkins. That's how you have some fun with football, boys. That was absolutely beautiful football in the middle of the box. We played them like... No other, man. Honestly, that was just... Ah, it was beautiful football that was. Take a look at it again. It was gorgeous play. You thought Grealish was going to score it? Nah, give it right back to Ollie Watkins. Watkins, Grealish, Grealish, Watkins. It's just beautiful. They did not see it coming. They didn't know what to do. That was beautiful, man. It gives Ollie his ninth goal of the season, which is very nice to see. And that is going to end off a pretty dramatic and intense episode, if I do say so myself. If you guys did enjoy it, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you for the support so far. So close to 800 subs, which would be pretty cool. But anyways, yeah. 
I uh, why are we showing Tammy Abraham? Jesus Christ, what did he do this game besides that one goal and a couple of big misses? But anyways, we'll see you for another episode of the Aston Villa PS5 career mode very soon. Take care.